Hey, man, look. We can't sugarcoat this no more, bro. We got to get on business and talk about this Nipsey Hussle situation. I've been avoiding it because I got no... I ain't got no beef with Big U. I actually like Big U. But lately, I, I've been seeing a lot of things that don't get called out because people are afraid of Big U. I see certain rappers would dance around Big U, call other people out. And look, y'all may not like me saying this, but a lot of people hate WAC 100, right? WAC 100 be capping about a lot of things, but when it comes to this Nipsey Hustle stuff and things pertaining to Nipsey Hustle that he claims he has, I believe WAC 100. Just based on the reaction of Big U, bruh. I don't know if what, what WAC 100 says about Jay Prince and them is true and all that. The reason why I said what WAC 100 said about Big U, I'm not saying everything, but the main important ones pertaining to Nipsey Hussle. It matters, gang. The reason why I say it's true, there's been a lot of dudes in California who, I'm going to say from 2021 to now, been sending me informations and things, and I have yet to be... You know, doing videos like that, it's not about no fear of Big U or nothing like that. I always look at it as that's deep game politics. But as Nipsey Hussle's been dead, going on a couple of years now, his fame is becoming bigger than life. It's becoming bigger than Crenshaw. It's becoming bigger than the rolling 60s. So it's not just for them anymore. The world loves Nipsey. So the world wants answers. For me to call myself a journalist and not speak about a lot of flimsy things I see in Big U would be fake, bruh. So Big U, you say Nipsey wasn't signed to you? That's cool. But a lot of niggas from the block look at look at it as he was signed to you because you're just, in the same breath you say Nipsey wasn't signed to you, you say he was signed to a production deal with you. Bro, where we come from, that's still, no matter what you look at it as, any type of paperwork I got with an individual, that is like being signed to them. I don't care what termino slick terminology you trying to use, and that's the thing. Big, you can throw his weight around. To the point he knows people are afraid of him. So Big U never has to come off the way WAC 100 comes off. See, WAC 100 gets ridiculed. People make fun of his height. When he was hollering at Mika with his cheeks out, paws. So they do a lot of, you know, clowning on WAC 100. So when he comes out and talks about anything, he got to say, yo mama, yo grandmama. You feel me? He got to show a lot of bravado because people take him as a joke in somewhat ways. Now, I'm not talking about the street streets. But let's just be real, on the internet, they be trying to clown him. With Big U, he could say a statement, people be on his tip so much, they don't in investigate what he just said, they don't indulge deeply into it. It's like they just give Big U a pass because he's Big U. You right, Big U. I, I be seeing when people do interviews with him, they get so scared to ask the real questions that we care about. So when Sam comes out, shout out to um, Nipsey's big brother Sam. When Sam comes out and, and brings up integral parts about Eric Holder leaving the corner and being in the alley, coming back with a red shirt, and they ain't supposed to be there, and he's talking about premeditated murder, I'm not going to lie no more. Black Sam is saying Big U killed his brother. And if he's not saying it that way, he's saying Big U hands is dirty as far as the death of Nipsey Hussle. Now, me... I'm going to place blame accountability on some niggas stuff when it comes to Eric Holder. Because niggas do get mad like Eric Holder in every neighborhood near you. And they do kill for the dumbest reasons. So that right there, we can't just erase and not place blame on Eric Holder. But what we can do is sit back and be like, who pumped the batteries on this man? It can't just be the word snitch and all that. He had to, like, I'm pretty sure being called a snitch got... Eric Holder, mad as hell, but when somebody feel comfortable like Eric Holder to do what he did to Nipsey, it had to be somebody pumping juice in this dude's medulla amagata, meaning that he's seen the, some of the homies saying we don't like Nipsey. I'm not going to beat around the bush. I'm, I'm going to bring what people have been telling me who's from California and some of the protégés of Nipsey. We're going to go deep on this, man. Niggas say that. Eric Holder been sitting around certain snakes who didn't like Nipsey, but would be around that marathon store, be around the block, trying to be around Nipsey because of what his name could have get for them. Advantageous situations, you feel me? The grass is greener if I link up and allies with Nipsey, but I don't really like Nipsey. I don't like the fame he got because I'm more of a certified street dude than this nigga. He ain't even really black. He Ethiopian. Oh, they told me all that, bruh. They told me what cousin them be saying, bruh. Nigga ain't really black. It's like these niggas done 
one went from gangbangers and turned into Tyreek Nasheed. Now they questioning Nipsey if is he a black nigga or not. You feel me? So y'all gonna call Nipsey a tetter now? And I'm not trying to get in that politic neither, but let's indulge into deep things. What made Eric Holder feel brave to do what he do? I'm pretty sure he got a name on himself. He got bodies as far as bodies of names. I'm not talking about killing and all that, but speaking of killing, we did know, like I seen Mika from Clubhouse. She released information and said damn near all his family got wiped out. She wasn't lying about none of that. The day that Nipsey died, less than two hours later or an hour later, niggas in that man family was getting touched. I don't know about, I think one died, but I'm hearing multiple died. But I can confirm at least one died. But 100% we confirm multiple of them got shot from his dad, his cousin in the corner store, two women in his family getting shot. One of the hairstylists for his brother got hit up just for being someone affiliated with them. And she's one of the members too. So happy to be a hairstylist. I know all the ins and outs of it. And I still didn't clout chase none of this story. Because at the end of the day, his death was so fresh, but it was bigger than that it was what he was doing for that community a lot of these other rappers who die who i talk about let's just be real they don't do nothing for their neighborhood but cause more pain and inflict more damage throughout it so yeah we're gonna cover you and not look at you as the same as a nipsey see one who brings the it's like when America goes to other foreign countries and they take the resources out that country and bring it back to America, Nipsey doesn't do that. He he keeps it in the certain vicinity and facility, so he should be honored and respected for that. But let's revert and go back to Big U. So Big U is doing interviews playing semantics now. Big U at one point of time didn't want to talk about it. We've seen Big U laugh at Nipsey several times when Nipsey was alive. I think we all can confirm now, yes, Nipsey Hussle and Big U were at odds with each other. We've heard different people, a lot who don't even like WAC 100, who have agreed with WAC 100. Fights have happened. Dudes have been told to go put hands on Nipsey, giving commands allegedly from Big U. So Big U is tainted at this point. Big U star rise to fame or any other dudes like a big you is not because they have a talent i'm sorry i'm gonna tell the truth it's because they produce fear to the community they have done so much wickedness to the society that if big you in fact if big you tell people to go kill me right now there will be a weird nigga that'll crash out for big you like he's jesus and we don't talk about these things. We look at these dudes like they're superstars and all they are, overgrown bully who have refused to grown up. They learn how to extort people, allegedly. I know how to still keep cold, but let's just keep it real. They learn how to escort, escort people. And a lot of you people deride dudes like Big U because you're not a man. You're not a woman. You're a follower. So when you're listening to a guy like me talking, you'll question my motives, my tactics, and everything I say. And I'll tell you, you are correct to question everything I do. But how come you pick and choose who to question? When it comes to Big U... Everybody act like this nigga is above reproach. He can't be criticized. He can't be questioned about nothing. Did he get a Nobel Peace Prize? Did he find the ingredient to get rid of cancer? What did this man do other than being part of a gang and being known to be very violent? So you're so afraid of him, you acquiesce to any demands he got. If Big U get in a room with you guys now based on the power he have, you will acquiesce to him. So a lot of these interviewers, I don't really watch Big U interviews. As soon as I see the team start, <laughs> hey, Big U, I already know how the interview going to go pretty much. Big U is going to run the interview. It's probably selected questions being given to him already. And the journalist, so-called journalist, is watching their words because of who Big U is. But nonetheless... Nipsey Hussle was disrespected by a lot of faces who are in that California streets, who people look up to, but yet people will talk about a YouTube blogger before they ever call out the real ball players, the real ones who was involved. I love Brick Baby, but even Brick Baby, when he tried to big up Eric Holder saying, that's my dude, saying certain things, guys can look at it as, Whoa, are you being slick to Nipsey? Now, Brick Baby did a 360 since he came home and did them interviews from the beginning. Now he's a different Brick Baby. Maybe it's for the better. I like seeing this Brick Baby, but what we seen a No Jumper brand did to him, it watered him down. We don't know if he's doing pranks, antics, or what, but we know when it come to Big U, a lot of gangbangers, they will hold their lips closed and, and lie. 
So I'm not coming at no gangs or nothing like that. I'm just saying a lot of you guys are not credible to talk about this story. You guys are biased and you guys are poisoned already. You're tarnished. We we can't take nothing you say with any emphasis of truth, bro. There is none in you guys. I look at big you eyes and something is bothering him. Whack 100 done poked the bear and to the point when Sam comes out and say it, you guys can look at Whack 100 like a clown all you want, but what about his own brother, Sam? What about Nipsey Hussle's father? What about some of his own family members who had said slick things about Big U already? Are you going to keep sweeping them under the rug? See, the chicken's coming home to roost. A lot of people know their time are always coming, including me and you people who are watching this video. I have nothing against Big U. You don't see me making any videos against this man. But looking at the receipts I've been getting for years and watching everything, I still didn't want to look at that Black Sam video. And then I finally watch it. I'm going to speak up. Black Sam is saying Big U hands are dirty and the death of my brother, Nipsey Hussle. I'm going to say what you YouTubers are afraid to say. They're saying Big U 100% killed Nipsey Hussle. Not me. I'm not ratting. I'm not snitching. This is what everybody is trying to say. But they're watching key words they say because they don't want to be deemed a rat. They don't want to be deemed anything. And they don't want to be beef. They're scared of certain drama. So <laughs> they're null, null and void, bro. We can't watch these platforms, gang. Yes, you should be afraid of dying, but what's the point of living if you're so much in fear? You can't even be you, Ock. So I'm not no Roddy Roddy Piper. I'm not the biggest dog in the pack. But I've come to a point, even during my military days, and I realized, especially now that I'm getting older, got a little bit gray hairs now, I'm coming to a realization, bro, what's the point of living if you're always going to let others dictate your life for you? So I'm doing this video to say, Big U, a lot of the words you say are not credible anymore. In fact, your words are invalid now. Because you said a lot of things that we can now take as lies, flat out lies, bro. You can say it in a pretty way. You can say charismatic. You can smile saying it. But a lie is still a lie, gang. And what's so funny about this lie, because people was always giggling with Big U like they're cheerleaders. Every time Big U is in a room, all I hear is grown men giggling. You guys know what my pet peeves is. It's always grown men giggling. It's like, what is this? Giggly, giggly. It's not even that type of giggling. It's really some female trait type of behavior because Big Dog came in a room and you see all the puppy dogs. They know how to act right. They don't know how to behave for the laws of the land or nothing like that. But when it comes to Big U, they all jump when he says how high. Notice what I just said. They all jump when he says how high. I, that probably tricked some of y'all. Y'all don't understand it because I flipped it. But you'll catch it later. You don't get it. You don't get it. Big U, at the end of the day, I look at you and many other people. Hell, I even look at WAC to a certain degree because they got tapes of Nipsey Hussle. What kind of people respect a certain man and you got tapes of this guy? But WAC 100 is not Nipsey Hussle's bro, so I'm not shocked if he has, you know, extortion tactics towards a, a, a Nipsey Hussle. But when it's a big you, oh, that bothers you, bro. It, you, you sit back and like, whoa, bro, these people are so fake. These people are worse than Jake the Snake, bro. Like, I'm going to just keep it real, bro. I don't look up to any gangbangers. Once again, I don't know Big U. I don't wish him nothing bad in life. In fact, blessing to that brother. But what's, what's so important about him that he's a celebrity? He's just a street nigga that's part of a dangerous gang. Y'all don't like what I'm saying, but it's the truth. We've, we have now come to a point to play the pretend game about certain people in our communities who have never been good for the communities. They may claim they're preaching and doing things for the community, but behind the scenes, behind the scenes, behind the scenes is a whole nother paragraph, a whole nother novel and script to the story. Nah, I'm all right, man. I, I'm going I'm to preach positive and, positive and unity to the people and leave the streets alone. The streets are for clowns to be at the circus and it's to take your life. There's no positiveness out the street and out the gang life. There's none. You're going to meet death and you're going to meet overgrown emotional children who refuse to grow up. These are what these grown men in their late 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s and 70s. They're old and they refuse to grow up. They're scared of life. Me and you are the real gangsters. 
sisters, because we go through every gray hair, we go through every up and down in life, and we don't complain to nobody. We go be them dishwashers. We don't feel like we have to go rob your house, go rob each other, shoot at our ops, none of that. We just know life ain't fair, and we don't bitch about it. We get up, we lace up our boots. You know how you gangsters say it? Chest out chin up. You feel me? You straight up. We the real ones because we mind our business and we go to work and we go get that chicken for the family, bro. They go get it in, in a certain way. And that's not all gangsters or gangbangers, but I'm just coming to the realization to the point, if you don't speak out against it, you are part of the problem. Or if you try to glorify it, you are part of the problem because no way on earth, the lowest part of our community should feel like they're celebrities. That mean we have now Corpora, uh, uh, corporatized violence. We have now made it an entity that's made to be trade and sold. That's crazy. I'm not going to be part of it. I'm not, a, I'm not trying to do something to them or anything like that. I'm just letting it be known. DJ Bless one pick a side and my side is with the people, the good citizens and civilians. Love your family. Love your kids and stay blessed. Rest in peace to Nipsey Hussle because a lot of people claim they miss Nipsey I love Nipsey, man. I, you don't even talk about Nipsey until a story like this comes out. And you love Nipsey so much, but you're the same fanned out fan that'll be on Clubhouse talking to Big U like he's Michael Jackson who came back. Like, you're not even part of a gang. Why are you being a cheerleader for Big U? Well, I don't know. Did he write the greatest album of all time or something? I'd be listening to you fools. Big U come out about, and it's the grinning like a schoolgirl. You're smiling. You're doing the most like you just met your girlfriend or boyfriend. It's strange behavior. He's just a regular dude from the block that was part of a danger, dangerous gang. I, I, I spoke the truth, man. Spare me your feelings, gang. Peace.